Dear learners, I welcome you. This is Teacher Katumba teaching you mathematics, primary three. In our previous lessons, we looked at subtraction of three digit and four digit numbers, and we tried to define a, a three digit number as a number which has got three place values. We also looked at subtraction of numbers that involve word form. That is to say, application of, of, of the subtraction. Application of subtraction. In our lesson today, we are going to look at another operation, and that is multiplication. Multiplication of a three-digit number by two. So we are multiplying a three-digit number by two. And this is our example. This is a three-digit number because it involves three place values. That is ones, tens, hundreds. So it involves three place values. Therefore, we are multiplying a three-digit number by two. So we are having under ones, we are having, we are having two multiplied by two, meaning two groups of two, two groups of two. So we are having two balls multiplied by some other two balls, which will give us four, which will give us four. So we have two groups and some other two groups. Or still better, we can say two plus two. Two groups plus two groups. Once you add, you will come up with four. So you write your four here. We are doing this because multiplication is a repeated addition. Multiplication is a repeated addition. So now let's move to tens. Under tens, we are having four times two. So we are multiplying four by two. Four times two. Four times what? Two. Which is four groups of two. Four groups of two. So we are having two, two, two. Two. Two, 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 four times. So we are having one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So our answer is what? Eight. Our answer is eight. Our answer is a eight. Or still better, it can be four, one, two, three, four. Plus one, two, three, four. It carries the same meaning. It carries the same meaning. So our answer is what? Eight. So you write eight here. Then we have under, we are moving to hundreds. Under hundreds, we are having three times two which is three groups of two, three groups of two, three groups of two. So we shall have one, two, three. One, two, three, times one, two, three. So we shall have three, three, which is what? Six. Sorry? She says three. 
three groups of two. So we shall have one, two, three. Three groups of two, which will give us six. That is six. Or still better, it can be three plus three. Because multiplication is defeated the addition. Multiplication is defeated the addition. Multiplication is defeated what? Addition. So we are having six. So you write six here. Therefore, our answer is 684. 684. That is our answer. Then, example two. Let's have another example. This is example. Example two. So we are having another three digit number multiplied by by two. Two hundred five times two. Two hundred five times two. So we are having ones, tens, hundreds. So we shall multiply numbers under ones. Numbers under ones. So there we shall have five times two. Meaning, meaning five groups of two. Five groups of two. So we shall have one group. Two groups, three groups, four groups, five groups. So once you count, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we are having ten. Now we shall not write ten here because this is, we have got two, two digits. So we shall have two regroup and we shall have put zero here and then we take one bundle how do we regroup you can regroup by dividing the 10 by what 10 once you divide 10 by 10 you will get one remainder zero so we write the remainder first then we take one bundle we go with one more bundle so under Tens. Now we are having we are having zero times two. Once we multiply zero by any number, the end result is always zero. Zero multiplied by n number, the end result is always zero. So we are having zero as our answer. But now there is this one that you carried. There is this one that we carried, so we shall add the one that we carried, and it is going to be one. So we shall get our one and put it there. Right? Then we shall have, we shall go under hundreds. Under hundreds, we are having two times two. So we are multiplying two by two which will give us two bundles of two. This will give us four. One, two, three, four. This is the same as two plus what? Two. Because multiplication is defeated the addition. So it's the same as two plus two. So our answer is four. So we shall write our answer here, four. So now we are having our full answer as 410, 410, 410. So I'm going to give you an activity. So get ready for the activity. Thank you.